All right, I got to get this uh, up really quickly. It's going to make me late. I got to get to retro fitness this Sunday. This is not something for some hack rag. This is from the International Journal of Hygiene and Environmental Health. It's the kind of shit that I'm trying to trying to encourage you guys to look into for yourself, man. Because if 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 enough of us do not wake up, and instead of screaming and hollering and fighting and arguing and protesting and and, and just acting like a bunch of children over shit that doesn't even matter. You know, it's like the war was lost for want of a nail. We're going to end up distract with, distracted and occupied with all this bullshit. Meanwhile, they're killing us. They are fucking killing us. Corporations are killing us. Our own technology isn't improving our lives. It's killing us. Here's a perfect example right here. Towards 5G communication systems, are there health implications? Highlights, RF, radio frequency, EMF, electromagnetic frequency, exposure is rising and health effects are still under investigation. Both oncolo oncologic, which is cancerous, and uh, having to do with cancer, and non-cancerous chronic effects have been suggested. 5G networks could have health effects and will use um, MMWs, microwave radiation, still scarcely explored. Microwave radiation still scarcely explored. It's health impacts. On us as human beings and live organisms here, adequate knowledge of RF, EMF, biological effects is also needed in clinical practice. Underrating the problem could lead to a further rise in non-communicatable diseases. Abstract, spread of radio frequency, electromagnetic fields is rising and health effects are still under investigation. RF, EMF promote oxidative stress, a condition involved in cancer onset, in several acute and chronic diseases, and in vascular homeostasis, homeostasis, or homeostasis. Although some evidences are still controversial, the World Health Organization, IARC, classified RF, EMF as possible carcinogenic to humans. More recent studies suggest reproductive, metabolic, and neurologic effects of RF, EMF, which are also able to alter bacterial antibiotic resistance. Yeah, so why aren't our antibiotics working so great anymore? Yeah, it's because we've over overused them. Really, you think that's the biggest part of it? In this evolving scenario, although the biological effects of 5G communication systems are very scarcely investigated, an international action plan for the development of 5G networks has started with a forthcoming increment in devices and density of smart cells and with the future use of millimeter waves, preliminary observations showed that millimeter waves increase skin temperature, alter gene expression, promote cellular proliferation, and synthesis of proteins linked with oxidative stress. Inflammatory metabolic processes could generate ocular damages, affect neuromuscular dynamics, Further studies are needed to better and independently explore the healthy effects, the health effects of RF, EMF in general, and of MMW in particular. However, available findings seem sufficient to demonstrate the existence of biomedical effects. To invoke the precautionary principle, to define exposed subjects as potentially vulnerable, and to revise existing limits, an adequate knowledge of pathophysiological mechanisms linking RF, EMF exposure to health risk should also be useful in the current clinical practice, in particular consideration of evidences pointing to extrinsic factors as heavy contributors to cancer risk and the progressive epidemiological growth of non-communicatable diseases. What? Yeah. So those cell phones, those little radioactive devices that you guys are glued to and you're fascinated with and you've got to have the latest and greatest and you gotta, you can't live without it. It's made life so much better for everybody. Has it really? Yeah, I don't think it has at all. You know, these things can't even be absorbed into the atmosphere. The atmosphere is resistant to even absorb this bullshit. That's why they have to have the proliferation of these cell towers everywhere. That's why they have to be so close to each other. Anyway, it's, it's real shit, but 
will continue to ignore the bulk of society because the bulk of society are bystanders and the bulk of society are sleeping and have blinders on. And so just as long as the game is on, there's some kind of sports game on or some kind of sports entertainment for us to watch this weekend we can look forward to after busting our hump all week. And as long as they can keep us spinning that hamster's wheel and they can keep throwing little uh, knickknacks and odds and ends out there and promoting them as if we really need this and something that we should be envious of our neighbor having. And so we'll work even harder to get to that. And these are the things we're focused on, right? And we're so absorbed in just keeping the wheel turning all week that the weekend gets here. The last thing we want to know is contemplate this kind of shit.